Robbie, the home help. I felt I needed a little bit of extra assistance with the housework, so I was going to get this new age home help called Robbie. So now I have this wonderful idea. I thought, oh, I will be able to clean the house a little easier uh, by getting this new modern high-tech aid. In this case, an artificial intelligence in the form of a robotic cleaner. Now this wonderful, highly intelligent robot, it sweeps, vacuums, leaves your carpets and your floors spotlessly clean, and you can even set it to clean all night and go back to space and recharge itself. Its name is Robbie. Yes, that's right, it's got a name, Robbie. Sounds harmless enough, doesn't it? It's able to recognise an object such as the furniture and things that might be a problem for it, such as clothing or objects on the floor, even the cat. So you can be, you know, you can be quite safe in the knowledge that can leave it on its own, this works unsupervised. But the trouble with over-intelligent and super-brains is they can easily overthink the problem. And it appears it could not find its joy charging station in the middle of the night and uses super-intelligence in a creative way and went and asked for help. But unfortunately the gentleman, a cohabitation of my establishment, took a very vim view of it knocking on his door at approximately 3 a.m. in the morning, asking to be taken to recharging station. How do I know? I was told about the next morning in this very colourful 3D language that included how many times it knocked on his door and a very colourful and accurate description of the time. Storm the cat also had a bit to say as, it were, as well. It chased her around and around the lounge and kitchen until it finally threw on top of the cat. I found Storm the cat deeply traumatised. He was standing on tiptoes on top of the cat. It appears that Robbie got it into its unlimited intelligence that this was something that needed to be swept up, and that's being Storm the Cat, of course. Well, <coughs> for such an intelligent beast, it can be remarkably willful and naughty and unintelligent. Uh, uh, as for leaving it unsupervised, well, uh, its lack of self-control discipline means I would definitely have to rethink that problem, possibility. Now, if that's not enough, in the next few days I managed to chew up a pair of my new underwear. My God, thank fortunately I was not wearing them at the time. One t-shirt, not so new fortunately, but it doesn't stop there. Over the next few days it managed to chew up several cables and anything else we could get a grip on. I have to say it's like a really good terrier. Once I got a grip on something, it was a hell of a job getting it to let go. So, I've come to the conclusion it's either very stupid or that it's very willful and naughty. So I'll have to send it back to the manufacturer, have it taught suitable behaviour, self-control, discipline, and, no and also naughtiness is a big no-no. Also, not to knock on people's door in the middle of the night or early hours of the morning. Most importantly, not to torture animals, namely Storm the Cat. All of these are big no-nos that even a three or four-year-old child knows how to recognise a bloody infernal cat. I mean to say, really, it is too bloody much. Christ.